Right, we just landed a fish. Um, really hot weather at the minute. Really need to look after the fish, but just want to run through the weighing procedures. So many false weights when people weigh fish. They forget to take the weight of the sling off. They make a miscalculation on it. All sorts of things. So quickly run through what I do. Just giving this a real good soaking in the margin. You see it dripping in water. Before I even get the fish out in the net, I've not even unhooked it yet, and still sat in the landing net. Get the sling out, onto the scales, and I prefer to start on zero. So whatever we're weighing the fish at, if it's £20, if it's £10, if it's £30, it's whatever it says on the scales. Very important part to mention on the scales, I see so many people weighing fish the wrong way around. It's essential that the scales hang from the loop. See, a lot of people, they cut the scales, lift the weight up, and it gives a total false reading of the fish. Cupping the scales, it actually gives you a higher reading. It's easy to make a £30 fish weigh £32 or whatever. If you want a true reading, and why on earth wouldn't you, why weigh them if you don't? They need to be hung from the loop. Uh, giving the fish a quick breather in the edge. It's ironic, we're running through fish welfare here. This one has actually got a little bit of damage on it. Well, we let's untangle this rig. And a couple of scales off it there. Possibly been spawning recently. Lots of branches and everything hanging all over the place. They really knock themselves silly at times. Uh, hooks come straight out. No messing about with that one, but Let's just get it all out of the way and clear the decks for it. Start to flap about, just hand over their eyes, just calms them straight away. Take the hand off, it'll probably flap again. It's again, this, this bright weather doesn't help the job much. Gently roll the fish into, into the sling. Absolute minimal handling. You see people grabbing hold of them, they're clutching them all over the place. But you, you don't need it. If everything's wet, the fish slide about lovely. The old scale's rattling away. Get the hook in there. And straight up. £18.10, £18.11. Just so much steadier using the bar there. Right. A little bit of water on them. I like these plasticky type slings and mats and such like because you end up, you've got puddles in there for the fish instead of it all running away straight away. Always keep them, keep them wet. They also help to keep you wet. <laughs> To pick the fish up, utilise the actual handles of the fish. We slip one hand underneath it, and grip the pectoral fin, move the one round the anal fin. That way they just sit nicely, just fingers around there, fingers around there, and there's the carp. What a lovely long lean fighting machine. Absolutely a brilliant scrap from that one. Thought it was quite a bit bigger. Beautiful. Okay.